Hi, everybody. Welcome in the map learning film. This movie could help you to detail some operations if you need. The scope of the document is to describe the typical phases of the application of paint on space hardware. We also highlight the specious parameters and records to master to warranty an optimal work. Primary packages are stored in storage area or outside with a plastic protection if they are too voluminous. The original packaging should be used for packaging and expedition of painted parts. The parts must be delivered with the following documents. Delivery note, customer specifications, drawings of painting. The samples follow the same process as the spaced hardware from the receipt of parts to the shipment. The parts have to be delivered with witness samples. These witness samples shall be made of the same materials and be surface treated the same way as the parts. Pictures of hardware should be taken before any action done on the parts. Any damage, shock, scratch should be recorded. All the following steps must be used with appropriate gloves to avoid any pollution. The operations of cleaning should be done in a cleaning room. The cleaning procedures are based on the nature of the substrate. The masking should be done in a cleaning room. The procedures are based on the nature of the substrate. In general, the masking should be done with a precision of more or less 1 mm. Chamfered surface smaller than 1 mm should not be painted. The paint should be removed after drying. After masking, a self-shaking should be done. If an polishing step is required, it will be done after masking. Due to the dew point, wait for minimum one hour before application process. The application of primers and coatings shall be done maximum eight hours after this stage. The preparation of the primers and coatings will be done according to the technical data sheet of each product in new containers. Application should be done in spraying room. Any water condensation must be avoided during application. Dew point. The spraying will be done with a dedicated spray gun. The compressed air must be clean, without traces of water or oil. The paint application process will be adapted to the geometry of the surface to be coated. After application, the parts should remain in the application room during the evaporation of solvent around one hour. Final curing is according to each technical data sheet. The unmasking will be done during the curing and takes place few hours up to few days after application depending on the paint reference. Unmasking shall be performed carefully to avoid the starting of pulling stresses in the paint. In general, from the edges to the center of masking. All adhesive tapes and tools of masking will be removed. The edges of the paint will be cut with adapted tools. Verify if there is no trace of glues. Clean it with acetone and or alcohol. The controls are done on hardware and on witness samples. They are done after complete drying. On witness samples, measurement of thickness, visual aspect and under binocular. Verify that there is no crack, run out, agglomerate, lack of paint no speck of dust or paint. Control of adhesion by squaring and adhesive tape. Measurement of solar absorbency, alpha P. On hardware, visual aspect, verify that there is no crack, run out, agglomerate, lack of paint. Verification of unmasking. A self-checking will be done on masked areas. If lack of paint is detected, Lower than 10% of total surface, a repair could be done within the frame defined repairing process. This checking will be done on parts and it's the final step before packing. The aim of this step is to verify if the application comply with all the contractual and technical requirements. The acceptance criteria are the following. Conformance of masking with drawing. 
All adhesive tapes and tools of masking will be removed. No trace of glues from adhesive tape of masking. All the edges painted will be cleanly cut. No flakes of paint. No infiltration of primer or paint on the unpainted areas. Visual aspect of the coating must be homogeneous. No lack of paint on the painted surfaces. No scratches on the paint. This operation should be done in a cleaning room. Packaging has to be adapted to the size and sensitiveness of the parts. In general, the original packaging is used for packaging and shipment of painted parts. Because your efficient equipment needs the optimum quality and performance, MAP is still available to provide additional information.